y'all welcome back to my channel i am here with my sephora haul i did not buy a lot of things from sephora which i never do when it's come time for like the holiday savings event or the sale they do in the spring i never buy a lot of things i don't know why i guess that's because i buy so much makeup pretty much almost every week so when it comes time for the holiday savings event i never know what to get because I already got the things that I'm kind of interested in anyway. Some items I picked up are repurchases and some are a few items that I kind of had my eye on, I just never picked up. But anyway, let's just get right into this haul. Okay, so let's just start with some skincare. I picked up the Tatcha Deep Cleanse Cleanser. I tried this a long time ago and I really liked it and I've been meaning to pick it up so I just felt like now was the perfect time to try it out again. And I noticed that they changed the packaging. the packaging was a lot different. This is like a nice daily exfoliator. Um, it is super gentle on the skin. It is not harsh at all. And I don't re um, remember the retail price of this. This is probably maybe less than $40, I believe. This is really good for all skin types. I have oily skin. I really like it. Um, I think somebody with dry skin or normally dry skin would like this too. Anyway. Next product I picked up is from Innisfree and this is the Pure Clearing Clay Volcanic Clay Mask. Um, I had a sample of this a while ago and I really liked how this felt on my skin. I really like how my skin looked afterwards. This is great if you have oily skin. It really gets all the dirt and everything that's trapped in your pores and really get it out. And also what I love about this product, when I tried the sample, y'all already know how small the sample size be from Sephora. It lasts a long time. So this is a product where a little goes a long way. This is what the packaging looks like. And I have already used it since I got it. As you can see, I really like this a lot. I believe this is less than $20. This is so worth it. If you have oily skin, acne prone skin, definitely give this a try. And I feel like $20 is not too bad for a product like this. Next product is a repurchase and this is from Pharmacy. This is their Daily Green oil free gel moisturizer i love this this is super lightweight on the skin this does not clog the pores and i have talked about this a couple times on my channel i feel like if you have oily skin you need this um i know a lot of people don't like the texture of it or how it feels when it goes on the skin because this is kind of like sticky almost tacky this moisturizer is perfect for all year round it does have a slight scent but it doesn't linger it's more of like a clean fresh scent it's not perfume or floral or anything like that also i picked up another product from innisfree and this is their sunscreen i love the daily uv sunscreen this works well under makeup it doesn't leave um a white cast on your face it blends in like this is almost like a moisturizer let me try to get this this came out with a mattifying sunscreen i haven't tried that one yet but i really do love this sunscreen highly recommend so what i love about this sunscreen you do not have to worry about breaking out i've tried several sunscreens and i always end up breaking out this one i never have any issue with breakouts now it's time for makeup start with um i did pick up one of these sephora mini brushes i actually picked up two of these i use one already 56.5 and the mini size brushes retail for 20 dollars. i feel like this is a good way to try out sephora brushes because they can be on the pricey side so i decided i would try a mini and if i like it i would go buy a full size or if i like it and still want to eventually try a full size i can use this for a while i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like because i don't feel like doing all that y'all know i'm lazy and also if you don't know right now during the sale all of sephora collection uh products are 30 percent off so you will get a, an additional 30 percent off i believe so i did pick up one primer and this is the skin veil primer by dior um i've been eyeing this for a couple months i haven't really seen any reviews or i haven't seen anybody on youtube use it but i just felt like now was a perfect time to try it um, this is what the packaging looks um, like. I believe this is supposed to be like a luminous kind of primer. I know this does have some sunscreen in it, so I'm excited to try it. I will definitely keep you guys updated on whether or not I feel like this is actually worth picking up because this retails, I believe, for like $42 or $45, but I will definitely keep you guys posted. So I picked up the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Bomb. I've wanted to try one of these for the longest, and this one is the vanilla scent. This is what the packaging looks like. I want to see if this really smells like vanilla. Oh, 
do a quick swatch on my hand. Yes, this smells like a sugar cookie. This is what it looks like. It's not sticky. Well, no, it's a little tacky. Pick up two powders, and one is from Glowish, and the other powder I picked up is the Airbrush Flawless Powder by Charlotte Tilbury. I've always heard great things about this powder. I never just went out my way to pick it up. And even now, I did not get a full size. I decided to go with the mini size. This is what that looks like. Sorry, I got my hand prints all over it. I didn't know what shade to get, tan or deep, so I just went with the shade deep. This is supposed to be like really good for setting your makeup, giving you that flawless um, airbrush photo filter kind of look. So I'm excited to try this. Hopefully it lives up to all the hype. And I think this mini size was like 25. I think I don't remember the exact price. And I also picked up the Glowish um, powder by Huda Beauty. And I've already did a review on this for Foundation Friday. So most likely this video is going to go up before that video. But I did do a review and I have a strong opinion about this powder. I picked up the shade 10 Deep Tan. This is what the packaging looks like. Um... I will say, because I do want y'all to watch Foundation Friday this week, this is not a perfect shade match for me. This is a little on the warm side, almost too red, but I do like the finish and I like how it wears all day. Just this is the wrong shade for me. I am going to go exchange it. If I can, I'm trying to get it open so I can show y'all. This is what it looks like in the pan. Looking at it, you think, okay, this might work, but these powders run very, very warm. So I suggest going in store and swatch it to figure out your exact shade. Next product is a repurchase. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush uh, Setting Spray. I think that's the name of it, yeah. Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I really love this setting spray. This is like my third bottle of this. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Like, I love used to be one of those people who use two setting sprays. Since I started using this, I only use one, and this really locks my makeup in place, and it stays in place all day, and I don't get as oily as I used to. I picked up is a repurchase. This is the Dior Pump and Brow. Only thing I put on my brows besides my Morphe pencil. You know what's in this? Because a lady who waxed my eyebrows, um, since I started using this, she swear my eyebrows have grown in certain uh, areas where they were like real, where the hair was real sparse. So she swears since I've been using this, my eyebrows have grown a lot. I don't know. I just like how this really keeps my brow in place because sometimes with my oily skin, my brows disappear throughout the day and this just really makes sure they stay in place. And I got the shade 002, which is a dark brown. I'm almost at the end and I do have three lipsticks I picked up. First, I'm gonna start with um, one lipstick I got from Dior. I love Dior lipsticks, and this is the shade 314 Grand Ball. This is like a peachy nude. Let's do a quick swatch of it on my hand so y'all can see it. That's what that looks like. Nice peachy nude. I'm excited to wear this with a brown lip liner. And also, if you did not know, Dior lipsticks are refillable and I believe I paid like $34. I really like Dior matte lipsticks. Like they're really nice. They're comfortable. And also I did pick up another lipstick from Gucci. Y'all know I was getting a lipstick because <laughs> I, Gucci makes some of the best matte lipstick. Now I didn't pick up a matte lipstick. This time I picked up one of the satin lipsticks in the shade um, 108. This is supposed to be like a chocolate kind of brown lipstick. is what that looks like now it's not as chocolate as I was hoping it would be let me try to do a better swatch than that that's what that looks like this almost looks like looking at this swatched on my hand I feel like this shade is very similar to the uh, Mona Leslie lipstick which is matte but this is um satin I don't know. I will keep y'all updated on whether or not if it's the same exact shade. Just one is matte and one is satin. And they calling it a different name. And last lipstick I picked up is one of the Guerlain lipsticks. I've been eyeing 
these for a while. I just didn't want to buy the actual lipstick and didn't have to pay for one of the cases, but I just was like, you know what? You've been wanting one of these lipsticks, so why not get it? This is and what the actual packaging of the lipstick looks like. And the shade, a second. This is 885 Fire Orange. Try to find some space on my hand. Let's swatch it right here. Oh, this looks so nice. This is what that looks like. Swatched on my hand. Doesn't really look all that orange. This looks more, I don't know, like raspberry to me. Doesn't look all that orange. I still like the shade. And you can buy the refillable case. I picked up one of the marble cases for it. This is what the case looks like that I picked up. And the inside of this is a mirror, so I feel like this is so luck. So when you put the lipstick on here, this is what that looks like. How nice is Lastly, that? Lastly, I did pick up this Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardena set. This has the rollerball in it and also the mascara. I actually have this perfume already a full size, but the reason why I picked this up is because all of the mascaras were completely gone at um, the store that I went to. So I decided to get it in a set like this just because I really do like the mascara. And it was no way I was not getting it. So I just got it this way. Um, this smells good too, this fragrance. It just, it doesn't last that long. This is a nice floral, sweet, soft floral fragrance. But again, it does not last long. So yeah. And I think this was like $50. I'm not sure. Um, the mascara retails on its own for $34. Okay, y'all, that is it for my haul from Sephora. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know I did not pick up as many things as you probably thought I was, which again, I never do. And plus I was thinking Black Friday is coming up. I already know Nordstrom gonna be having some, um, makeup on sale, Bloomingdale's and other places. So I did not want to spend a lot at Sephora, then turn right around and buy more makeup from other stores that I like shopping at. But anyway, y'all, don't forget to like, and if it's your first time watching, please hit the subscribe button, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.